Greetings, Living Hope family. Hope you had a great Resurrection Sunday a couple of days ago. I want to check in and give you some encouragement today. And specifically, I'm thinking about missions today. So Revelation 5 tells us this. This is the, the plan of God. And we know this is what's going to be true in the end. So this is the new song that's being sung to Jesus Christ the Lamb. Revelation 5, 9. And they sang a new song saying, Worthy are you, speaking of Christ, worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priest to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. So we know, in the end, in glory, there's going to be people from every tribe, every nation, every tongue that are going to be lifting high the name of Jesus. Those who have been saved by the grace of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Those whom he paid for and bought with his sacrifice on the cross. We want to be about supporting missions to the nations so that the gospel goes out to these people so that they hear and believe. And so uh, to that end, I want to remind you that we do support uh, two different missionary agencies, Heart Cry Missionary Society and the Masters Academy International. Heart Cry Missionary Society, uh, they seek to support indigenous missions, which means that they support pastors and church leaders that are natives to the country where they are ministering. And that has some benefits to it. Uh, it's financially beneficial. Uh, it actually costs more money to send American missionaries overseas and actually helps to overcome uh, language barriers and cultural barriers as well. And so that's part of the benefit of supporting indigenous missionaries, but that's what they're about. And so I want to let you know about a, a prayer need and something you can be praying for. There is a pastor in Malawi. His name is Mala Chindongo. He's the pastor of Antioch Baptist Church. Okay. And that's in, um, I think I'm um, pronouncing this correctly, Blantyre, Malawi. Okay. And they have a fruitful evangelism ministry on a university campus, specifically uh, University of Malawi. And so pray for Pastor Mala Chindongo and their university campus ministry, where they're seeking to spread the gospel to the students there. If you want to go on Heart Cry Missionary Society's website, you can read um, actually this missions report. It's called From Dead Religion to Regeneration, where uh, a, a man named John was saved through that campus ministry. And it tells the story of how he came to Christ and then got into some, uh, some bad teaching and then uh, actually uh, came to the truth and got into a great church. So if you want to read about that from Dead Religion to Re Regeneration, you can go on their, their website and look for that and read the story of John's conversion. But pray for that campus ministry and uh, the pastor of Antioch Baptist Church in Blantyre, Malawi, Mala Chindongo. I uh, also want you to be praying for uh, TMAI, or the Master's Academy International. They have 15 different schools around the world where they're training up church leaders and giving them theological education so that they're preaching the truth. And so what they're saying isn't leading people astray, but they're actually telling them what the Bible says. And they're uh, training them up to handle the word rightly. So pray for the Master's Academy International. Uh, I was reading a little bit of a letter where the president of that missions agency was asking for prayer. Pray for health for all the individuals that are serving in that ministry. And also pray for missions agencies that the Lord would give them continued support. Because uh, I know ministries um, may be um, on hard times right now, especially with, with everything that's going on with the coronavirus and the economy. So pray that the Lord would continue to support these missions agencies so they can continue to train church leaders and send people to the unreached. Okay, well, uh, that's my, my little bit of encouragement. Let's be praying for the nations and for these missions agencies as a church and not forget them, though we can't see them, right? Okay, well, have a great night, and I'll be seeing you, Lord willing, very soon.